Be a good boy, okay? It's okay. Be a good boy, okay? Mm. I just want to show you guys. He really cries every day I leave the house. It's the cutest thing. Okay. Really tells me every day not to leave. But I have to, okay? I'm sorry. Bye, Mata. I love you, baby girl. I love you too. Keep cleaning the house. If I had to tell you what I was doing, then it just means you really don't watch the vlogs. But just in case you don't know, I'm going to link up with Dub to shoot a video for his channel. It's a pretty much, you know, repeat thing. We're all on a 31 day grind trying to post every single day. So obviously I'm on the 365 day grind. I think it's today is vlog number 231, but we're so close, man. At 365 days, I hope you guys respect it. I'm gonna take like a two, three day break and not post and just like really enjoy my life and be an old person. Yeah, we're getting straight to it. I hope everyone's having a wonderful day. If you haven't yet, go down below, hit the subscribe button, and turn on all post notifications. <laughs> Call Lexi. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Bye. <laughs> it'll, it'll make sense to her when she sees the video. So I've actually been home for a while now. I got done shooting for Deb pretty quick today and came and picked up Lex. And we were gonna go do something, but it all fell apart. And I just kind of wanted to show you what I mean and what happened. So that way you can understand why we're going to Wingstop instead. It's only one thing I gotta get right now. Only one thing I need. BK all day. Every day. Yeah, I need my cheesy melt. Damn. It's like a championship belt. That I wear for all my homies The world spins and I see it dog Cause it's spinning here right below me But um Yeah I need my breakfast cheesy milk I'm yelling help I seen it five star it's rated And yeah it's posted on Yelp God damn I need my breakfast cheesy milk Yeah Breakfast cheesy milk Breakfast cheesy milk Breakfast cheesy milk I need it all day every day Yeah I need it all day every day Yeah Guess what? What? Bro, subscribe is crazy. Oh, did you enjoy it? I love what? the dance moves. After <laughs> after every food item you tried, you you hit a you very unique move. I love it. We're back again, bro. Yes, sir. I, I heard you guys got the breakfast cheesy milk. Ah, uh, fortunately we don't have breakfast all day. No way. Yeah. So you're gonna have to come in the morning. Unfortunately, we aren't gonna be able to try those new breakfast cheesy melts. And we literally just spent the last like 20 or 30 minutes just scrolling through social media, internet, Google, just looking at all of the brand new menu items that have come out for locations in the last couple months. And we actually were able to find a new flavor that came out at Wingstop that we haven't tried. So instead we are pulling up to Wingstop. I guess they have a honey hot rub that came out a couple months ago. It's a brand new flavor. Now, I'll be honest. Wingstop and me, Lexi will tell you. What do I always say about Wingstop? It's not your favorite. I hate Wingstop. I like, she's being nice. I always say it like that. She always be like, wanna get Wingstop? And I'm like, I hate Wingstop. I just am not a fan of the flavors. So when Lexi had found the post talking about the new Honey Hot Rub, I was like, look, let's give it one more shot. And let's try all of the flavors that we haven't tried in general because I think from Wingstop all I've ever had is the the common ones. The Louisiana rub, the what what is it? It's the the obviously the hot mild, the lemon pepper. The lemon pepper, the Louisiana rub, the we've Korean. had the Korean style. I don't think we've had the Hawaiian one though. I've never heard of Hawaiian. Maybe my taste buds are slightly slanted because there are a lot of people eating Wingstop right now. Even look at behind you. Look at all that is a lot of people eating Wingstop. It's 
gotta be good if it's here to stay. Hot honey rub. Before I even say what I was gonna say, let me show you something. This is this is not our Tesla, by the way. Look at that hanging from their mirror. Do you know what that is? No, what is it? We need one of those, that's an Eevee. Oh. Anyways, 24 bucks, guys. We were able to get 20 wings. We got three flavors. It was spicy Korean, Hawaiian, and then of course the hot honey rub. And then we got fries, carrot sticks, and a side of corn with a drink. 24 bucks. I'm just wondering, is this new flavor gonna renew my love for Wingstop? Is it really as hype as they're making it? They have a whole dedicated ad for it. It's all over TikTok. We're gonna jump straight into this. If you haven't had Wingstop fries before, that's crazy. I don't really gotta rate those. Not gonna lie, out of all the things that Wingstop has, their fries actually hit. The chicken is just not me, bro. I just gonna really change your mind today. Well, that's what we're gonna find out right now because I want to figure out what's good about with that uh, hot honey rub. That's got to be the hot honey rub right there, right? Uh, no, because it should be a dry rub. It's probably this one. Oh, it's a dry rub? Yes, that's what rub means, babe. So this is the hot honey rub, right? Yeah. Damn. All right, rated one out of ten. <laughs> to rate that a solid bro honestly nine out of ten that was actually so far you liked it you did a dry bite though huh i mean that's how you really got to taste it i know what ranch tastes like look at that seasoning Good, I could tell, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so what's this middle one do you think? Hawaiian? Yeah, that's Hawaiian, that's spicy Korean, I think. Alright, so Oh, that one smells crazy, bro. Like in a good way? Like it stung my stung my nose. Sting my nose? Stung my nose. Oh, that's so different. Hold on. Something light, you know? Like a seven? Yeah, I give it like a seven out of ten. It's cool. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's cool. Definitely kind of really changing my mind about Wingstop. I'm not kidding, guys. I really don't like Wingstop, but I really want another one of those hot honey rubs. That was fire. And then this middle one, the Hawaiian, it's I wouldn't get it again. It looks real saucy. I don't really like when things are like super saucy, so I'm gonna take a bite. like 7.5 7.5 yeah all right so last flavor is what the spicy, spicy korean. korean that looks crazy that does look good that does look crazy oh yeah it's spicy for sure you can smell it you can smell the spice can you smell the spice you can smell the spice
give that a solid like five out of ten. Really? Actually, that flavor right there would be part of the other flavors that kind of made me not ever want to go like to Wingstop. I'm not gonna lie though, like I've been begging, my taste buds have been begging for this right now. That hot honey. Hot honey in general is just a 10. Yeah. We rated Pizza Hut's new pizza when it came out. It was the hot honey pizza. Then they got rid of it. That was the best pizza they ever made. Best pizza ever. These are the best wings they've ever made. The hot honey rub wings. It's so amazing. It's like spicy but sweet. Overall, Wingstop, new rating. Because like I said, before I used to hate it, I really was rating this place like a two or three, bro. New rating. Because of those wings, I'm gonna give it a solid seven out of 10. The hot honey rub though, I'll change that for real though. I'll, I'll put that at a 10, just because I would come back just for the hot honey rub and the fries. I, I personally love Wingstop. Like I think their boneless wings are so good. I'm gonna give it like eight, 8.5. Eight and a half? Yeah. You know what, everything could change right now too because I have never tried their corn. Isn't there corn in here that we gotta try? Yeah, where is it? Where is it? Where is oh it? Oh my gosh. Where is it? Does that dock them a point because they forgot our corn? So surprisingly, we went in there to try to get the corn that they didn't put in our bag. And they said that it's not on the receipt. So we obviously said it. Me and her had a conversation. She said, oh, they got this corn we should try. I heard it's amazing. I said, okay, can we put it on there? She said, yeah. Now they're giving my girlfriend a hard time. The manager here is being an ass. He actually doesn't want to give the free corn. So because automatically, <laughs> that's a that's a three point deduction, huh? They're gonna prepare. Oh, he's gonna do the corn? I guess he is actually gonna do the corn. I was, dude, I was about to dock them <laughs> so hard. I already gave them an overall seven out of ten. I was gonna bring them to a solid two because customer service at the end of the day so is important. everything. And to fight with a customer over two dollars worth of corn is the craziest thing I've ever seen in my life. You know what the worst feeling is? Hmm is when you get into like an argument with a restaurant or a food establishment, but then they end up like being like, all right, it's good. And then they make it because then you're like, what was the whole point of all that? No, you don't get it. That's not it. You're, oh, what? See, you're one of those people who would argue with an establishment thinking there's no consequence. And if you really think about it, he could have totally spit on this. I don't say so. You could have totally rubbed it in the ground and then seasoned it. You don't know that. I've seen it. I used to work in the restaurant industry. And they would do that? Yes, bro. That's why you got to be careful. I worked at a little pizza kitchen. I'm not going to say the name because I'm not trying to get screwed. But if you piss one of those servers off, best believe your pizza hit the floor before it hits your plate, bro. But anyways, here are these little corns that we're going to rate. This is what we're waiting for. This is what they forgot. This is what might change the score. What is it called? Do you know? Cajun corn. Cajun corn. Oh, you like it. Let me just say, that's a 10. It's Their a score is officially a solid eight out of 10. I'll give them a point. Would have been a nine, but that customer service killed it. Wow. You really like that? Dude, I will come back and just get the honey hot rub wings, which is here for good, and the corn with the fries. That is a perfect, that could, is so I wonder good. if it's fried, is it? I don't know, but that was fire, babe. Mm. How good is that? Mm. That was good. What do you rate it? <laughs> I rate it like a 9.5. 9.5? So yeah. what's the overall score then? Overall score for Wingstop, I'm going to have to give it a 9. A nine? Yours is an 8, but mine's a 9.
In conclusion, everybody, the hot honey rub <laughs> flavor of wings that Wingstop is hyping up, that the internet is talking about, it is a fact. It is not cap, it is a fact. It is a 10 out of 10. If you have not tried them yet, they released in the last couple months, come over here and try them because it truly is an amazing menu item, as well as the Cajun street corn and their fries, of course, because they always hit. That sounds like a 10 out of 10 meal, and hopefully you get a little bit better of service when you go to a different location. Oh, and everyone knows that Wingstop Ranch is crap. Like, literally? Yeah. We can meet at beach, yeah, yeah. We can surf on white rocks on my feet. We can kick up the sign, yeah, 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 yeah. We can do sunset memories. Single many train pass by. Like PCH rides at night. That's hundred ten palm trees, babe. That's that California lifestyle, babe. I partied my ass off. That was in Santa Barbara. Now I'm in Dana Point. Chilling right by the harbor. I got me a fat joint. Doing some money counting. Beautiful women, though. Especially in Orange County. Dinner in Long Beach. Nights out in Newport. Train till it's sunrise. Then hop on my surfboard. Weather is just right. This is the capital for your love. Oh, yeah. We can meet at the beach, yeah. Yeah. We can surf on white walls on my feet. We can kick up the sun. Yeah, 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 yeah. We can do sunset memories. We can meet at the beach. Yeah, yeah. We can surf on white walls on my feet. We can kick up the sun. Yeah, 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 yeah. We can do sunset memories. Like PCH rides outline. That's hundreds in palm trees, babe. That's that California lifestyle, babe.